friends, welcome back. Welcome back to my channel. If you've been here before and if you're new, welcome. Today's video is a vlog of me checking out one of my first solo markets. Got the advice from Cameron from Cameron's Cute Creations. If you do not follow her and would like to know really great information about selling at markets, I will go ahead and link her down below so that you can follow her. She's she's nice. great. She suggested that before you go sell at a market is to go check it out, see what it's like. Also suggested is to go and talk to another vendor to see what their experience was at the market. If they'd sold there before, what successes they had. So we're on our way to go check out a market that I may possibly sell at. But first we have to do a car wash and did some off-roading adventures. Steve needs a wash. Okay, we're gonna walk up here. I can already tell it's a little bit smaller because it's warm out here. We live in a warmer area. So this will be interesting. We'll just zip through here and look, I already like the tent action going on. It was really interesting to me to walk up to the market and to see some of the vendors. And I wondered because one person, I walked by their booth and kind of looked and kind of looked at their thing, took the time to see what they're, and they were on their phone the whole time. And I was like, okay, that's interesting. And then the next person was so busy fiddling with what they were doing, didn't even look up to make eye contact. So I taught, we went to the third booth in and the man made eye contact. It wasn't something that I intended to buy because I didn't have little kids, but he took the time to visit with us. And I was able to talk to him about you know, how he started and what, you know, how big the market got. And he says it's going to be a really big market and it gets bigger because they do it weekly in October, November, December, that that would be a good time to sign up. And also, you know, he asked me what I would be selling and I told him, you know, what I would be selling. And he's like, oh, I haven't seen anything like that. I think you'd be really successful here because they have a lot of moms and a lot of kids. And that was great information to have. And he also talked about payment methods and that was really helpful as well and how to include my tax in there. So super informational, super great guy. You know, he he sells on Amazon. He started at markets and now he's selling on Amazon and just was selling the stock that he had, but great information and I really, really appreciate it. So I came home with that information from my fact-finding mission and I knew that I needed to apply for a business license and a uh, transaction privilege tax. That's something that I need to have in my state. Each state is different on what they require to sell at markets. And I can't say that I am even like an expert on it because I'm learning myself as I go and I'm asking people questions. So I'm asking other people I know that sell at markets here where I live and they've been helpful as well. And I think I'm gonna go ahead and try to see if I can get in to do that market. So I'm looking to do possibly October, November for that market. And during this time, I've been prepping and making all sorts of things. And right now I'm just kind of making the things that I like to make, smaller things. I'm trying to stay within a certain price point to see if that would be successful and sell. I can say I've been sharing a lot of things on social media and have had many people reach out and ask if things are for sale. And so I've been able to sell some of the things already that I've been making, so that's great. If you're curious about markets, go research them first. There's another market I'm looking to get into and they just got a new manager. It's kind of an interesting location. So I can't really divulge too much yet because I don't know very much, but I am asking questions like where the location is in, in, in their venue. So it's going to be inside their store, inside of their garden department, but be outside. So that's what's kind of interesting. And they provide a tent and a table. And I'm like, well, I don't know if I want to use that table because it might be too big. So see where I'm going. So there, there's still a little bit of, of question marks there. A friend suggested that one to me and she's sold at it before and it had been very successful. So it'll be really interesting. And that one's in October as well. So I'm hoping that it fits on a week that works for me because I've already gone through my calendar and, and looked to see which weeks work, weeks don't. 
and I'm hoping that these both work out and it'll be really fun and kind of an exciting, scary so, adventure. I thought I would share what's going on with my market prep. I've done markets before, but I did it with a friend. I haven't ever done it by myself, so I'm still doing a lot of research on payment methods and all different sorts of things. So I hope that you enjoy. And if this is helpful to you, let me know. If you're interested in any way, I will try my best to help you. Like I said, I'm not an expert. I'm just sharing my experience and what I'm learning along the way. And hopefully that is helpful to you. So I just wanted to share that short vlog today. Grateful that I could go out and check things out. Grateful for my husband that he could come with me and, and take. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye.